Hello guys from my studio company welcome back to my channel I mean I was shooting a video take a look at this pizza mm, soft and crunchy in the same time but look at this today is gonna be a little bit different like uh, if you follow me you know what I'm talking about I have my computer and uh, today I'll bring you directly to the main city of Italy Roma I'm going to bring you directly in Rome the Colosseum city the main the history city of Italy of course physically I cannot be there so what happened I sent my friend from Italian exploring food Giovanni voice and like you can see guys we are doing this uh, small series and uh, maybe it's gonna be big, big series it depends on you so smash the like reach let's reach this 50,000 uh, likes and uh, of course guys subscribe right there it's totally free it's totally free and of course guys check out uh, my friend from Italian exploring food Giovanni Foyce go ahead and subscribe to him it's totally free and uh, guys enjoy this video we are going to show you three best pizza in uh, Roma so two are my favorite one and then Giovanni of course chose one of his best ones so it's gonna be so cool because today we are going to explore two Neapolitan pizza really 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 amazing and one typical from Rome you are going to see the differences of these pizzas and let's open up the computer and let me show you let's start with this new series of the best pizza in the world so Giovanni let me see show me Rome Thank you Vito for sending me here in Rome, my city, my birthplace. In this format we are traveling around the world to find the best pizzas. Because you have to know, I'm Giovanni Foyce, my channel is Italian Exploring Food and my job is to travel all around the world to find the best Italian plates, even in Italy. So don't forget to go in the description and subscribe to my channel. So let's go to the first pizzeria. Guys, did you see the pizza place? A lot of people working all in the same time. Like you can see, that's the main Italian style. That's how you understand that's real in Italy. The first place is Seo Illuminati. Here in Rome, it's so famous. I've never been here. The restaurant has a lot, a lot of rewards. They always win the pizza competition. So I think this one will be really, really good. So Vito, let's see if it's good. Giovanni make sure you eat and you enjoy this pizza because you are going to be surprised on this it's one of my favorite in rome and of course give a bite for me please giovanni go ahead let's see questo è il nostro padellino che viene fatto con un prefermento quindi un preimpasto fatto il giorno prima e poi chiuso al 75% di idratazione of course guys you see this is like a sandwich uh, sandwich pizza gourmet so this is a typical pizza we call a gourmet pizza so it's a mix of uh, Neapolitan style with a sandwich like a little bit more crunchy and soft in the same time really good one you want to make a, a gourmet pizza like you want to show someone the a real the ingredients so that's why they put the ingredients at the exit and then they make it like a look really nice okay this pizza seems like uh, an appetizer so just try it there's a lot of stuff outside oh god Vito I can say this is soft and crunchy you can see the levitation of the pizza it's full of air inside it's another time. This one is different. This one is not a typical pizza. It's not like the usual pizza that we are finding in Italy, but just try it. Mm. Oh my god. This is even better. I love it. This is only the appetizer. I will love this dinner. Ciao Bye. ragazzi, Pier Daniele di Sovizia Pizza Illuminati e questa è la mia pizzeria e la mia squadra. Oggi prepareremo la placcala, quindi una grassi tra black e baccalà. Okay guys, like you can see here on the how he's stretching the pizza, it's really nice because he got a container where he puts all the semolina mixed with flour, this is a 50-50. So when uh, this way, he doesn't bring the flour to the counter and then it's gonna be more easy. So I suggest to you always to do the same way how this guy is stretching. Also, you can use a lot of flour, it doesn't go anywhere, keeps in the container, so that's a really good way to stretch the pizza. Wow, guys, did you see this uh, black sauce? He put uh, 
It mix it up with a little bit of uh, black uh, squid ink with the sauce. I should go there and taste it myself because uh, probably it's gonna be good. Guys, did you see this oven? It's a really particular pizza oven because you see this grill? Those uh, are really good because uh, when the pizza comes out from the oven, they place the pizza on top of this grill and the pizza will evaporate also from the bottom. It doesn't get wet the bottom. So that's a really good uh, tip uh, that you need to do because uh, when you're cooking a pizza oven, that's a really good uh, thing to do. Having a grill next to the pizza oven. C'è una treccia di mozzarella, chiamo una chips fatta con il nero di seppia. Poi abbiamo una maionese al nero di seppia. Tanto David metterà il basilico, poi il basilico viola. Una zestata di lime per dare un po' di freschezza. Voilà, siamo, buon appetito ragazzi. This time the pizza is so different. It's a black pizza. You see there is a lot of cuttlefish ink inside the pizza, so just try it. I'm so curious about that. Look, look at the levitation on the pizza. It's a, like a butt cave in the pizza. Wow, guys, did you see this crust? soft and crunchy in the same time full of uh, air packets so that means that they are using uh, probably polish technique or bigger for sure so let's see how is this pizza it's good daddy okay this is even better than before i love this pizza the duff is so soft even crunchy to the top they did a really good timing with the oven so Good job, this is really really awesome. Good job guys. I think I'm going to take another pizza. Guys, did you see this pizza? These are my favorite pizza because it's a salad, healthy, with a little bit of cream pizza. So this is, that's why it's a Mediterranean flavor. flavor. I wish I was there, Giovanni, right now. Enjoy this pizza because this is my favorite pizza. That's why you are there in this pizza place. That's right. The chicken. Mm -hmm. well, it seems like a, a kebab. Two of my favorite food, kebab and pizza mixed together. This is genius. You say right, Giovanni, kebab pizza. Because that's probably a kebab in a pizza. Outstanding. When you mix this uh, combine of this uh, flavor, Mexican or uh, Turkish or uh, Greek, and then you mix it with Italian food, you make the best combination. I know why Vito sent me here, because it's not only for the ingredients and the combo, but the half of the pizza is no sense. It's amazing. totally amazing. Good job, look at here. You can feel the soft. Very, very congrats. The second pizzeria that Vito told me is one of the best in Rome is 180 grammi. That is mean 180 grams. That is the sides of the, uh, the duff. Let's go try it and let's see if it's good. Okay, Giovanni, enjoy this pizza because this is the... T you are from Rome, you should know, and uh, I'm surprised that you've never been to this pizza place because this is one of the best Roma-style pizza. Like the name of this pizza place says, 180 grams, that's the size of the dough balls. And that is going to be an amazing Roma-style pizza, different from Neapolitan style. So guys, go ahead and smash the like right now. Let's enjoy this uh, part of the video. Guys, did you see how so these guys they are stretching the same way? Probably they are friends. They are stretching in a in a container with the semolina and the flour. Then it's a really good way to stretch. So make sure 
you get that tip because this video is full of tips ciao ragazzi sono Jacopo Mercurio e siamo da 180 grammi oggi andiamo a vedere la nostra pizza romana una l'abbiamo chiamata ho dimenticato la pizza nel forno guys like he say he's making the pizza with 55-50% hydration the Roma style is different because it's more uh, uh, lower in uh, hydration because the pizza needs to be much more crunchy compared to the Neapolitan style so That's another tip. The more is the hydration, the more soft the pizza will become. The less is the hydration, the hydration is the water, the more crunchy the pizza will become. Pomodoro rossito, infatti lo vedete già dal colore. Andiamo con una mozzarella di bufala affumicata, mettiamo dell'olio affumicato. Guys, like you can see, these guys also they have a little grill in the front with a, a lot of holes. That's also good for a thin crust or a whatever crust you want to make. But uh, here is one thing that you need to know. Another tip, to make a pizza nice and crunchy, you need to have the oven a little bit lower and cook the, the, the pizza for more time. So these guys, they are cooking the pizza for about two minutes and a half. So they are cooking the pizza for more long time, that means that the, the, the temperature in the pizza oven is lower. Caramello di pomodoro giallo, una polvere di basilico, del basilico rosso e un olio affumicato quindi... wow guys look at this pizza super crunchy thin crust this pizza you don't even feel it that you eat it how is this pizza do you like it's basil You don't want base, base no, okay. No. You can see it's not a typical kind of pizza that you can find in the channel of Vito. That's right. So smoke. Taste so smoke and delicious. Oh my god. I can say the tomato sauce is very good. Giovanni, you are so funny when you say sauce. It's always uh, like we say, that's uh, like a New York accent. In Los Angeles, we say tomato sauce. I like this uh, little part when uh, Giovanni is pronounced uh, sauce. Let's hear this again. It's like that you put the tomato sauce in Japan to cook again. So it's really good. I love this. And it's also light. It's not so heavy. You can eat like three pizzas in a row. Very good job, Jacopo. Very good job. La seconda pizza invece gioca un po' con la cultura greca. Crema di melanzane al berberè. Un batterino confit e infine del fior di latte. Basilico greco rosso, una polvere di olive, una crema di feta aromatizzata al cetriolo bruciato. Thank you so much. Seems so delicious, guys. I'm so curious about this one. See, it's like a fusion from Roman food, Roman pizza, and Greek culture. And so. guys, you can see on this pizza, also this pizzeria, they made a fusion of uh, different flavors, like Greek to Italy, and that's where it comes out. An amazing, amazing product. Every single taste is so strong, but you can totally feel every single ingredient that is top on the pizza. But the best thing here is the tomato confit. You can see the red tomato confit and the yellow tomato confit. They are so sweet. I, I love it. I can say I love it. By the way, I can totally say the Napolitan pizza is so good, so soft, but the Roman one has something more. Maybe it's because I'm from Rome. But It's really delicious. Thank you Vito for sending me here because I found another good pizza in Rome. I told you Giovanni you're gonna be surprised and I'm more surprised that you've never been there you are from Rome. I can't wait to see the pizza place that you suggest because I'm surprised now if I ever been there or not. Let's see. I'm excited. Okay guys, we arrived to the third pizza of today. The last one, and it's my favorite, is Pizzeria I Quintili. The boss, Marco, is like a genius. You have to know, I tried every single pizza here in Rome, but this one is not only for the duff, that is perfect, but for the ingredients. He has, he's like a genius. Every single ingredient is top quality, but the combo that he make, it will let you without words. So let's go try. Se la prima vi faccio la velata, una pizza con del San Marzano, della ventricina di sutri e sopra gli mettiamo del caciatrotte che lo cuciniamo a tavola, un terriccio di olive. 
Sei un genio, vai! And of course I know this guy, Marco Quintini, is a friend of mine from Naples, super good pizza chef, but uh, unfortunately I've never been to this pizza place, I don't even know that he were a owner of this pizza place, but I'm, I can't, I can't, I'm excited to see them. Right now that I know him, I know for sure there is a really, really amazing pizza, not good, an amazing pizza. Uh, let's see what you got, uh, Marco, this time, let's see what you got, Marco. <laughs> Wow, this guy is saying that the pizza dough weight is uh, 230 grams. Usually the pizza Neapolitan style is 260, 280 grams. So it's much less than usual. So I'm excited to see the final product, how it's going to be puffy or not. Let's see how it is this pizza. guys i mean did you see the crust of this pizza how it pop out i mean that's an amazing job so marco if you're watching this video you did an outstanding job i'm super curious how you made the dough because i'm for sure i'm gonna come out when i'm in rome i'm gonna come out and visit you and then i'm gonna get some uh, secret from you So I want to say something on this point, it's an amazing, amazing service because when you have the chef, the pizza chef coming to your table and doing this kind of service, like you can see he's burning the cheese in front of you and he's putting this, uh, this black uh, thing here, that's amazing. So it's going to make the experience go in a le super level up. Even if the pizza is not the best, you promise the experience is gonna make the pizza super good. So guys, if you have a pizza place, go ahead and try to do this service because it's an amazing thing to do to your client. And for sure, you will never forget. Have you ever seen a pizza better than this? Never, never, never. Mmm, the smell. And guys, take a look of the body of these two guys. Uh, ciao, Emily. The body, they are so fit. They, and then, trust me, they eat uh, pizza almost every day. Tell me if I'm wrong, Giovanni. You guys eat pizza every day and look at the body of these guys. That means that the pizza in Italy or when you're going to eat a good pizza or good food, that's the shape of your body. So guys, that's why you're gonna follow Italian Exploring Food because uh, he's gonna show you the best places in the world. So that's a point. Vito, you have to come back here just to try this pizza. The texture is so good. The taste will be the same. This is paradise. The ingredients is not just put on the top, it's a mix, a perfect combo that will let you without any words. Mamma mia, now it's time for the second one. Facciamo la seconda pizza, la chiamo la riccia. Porchetta di riccia, le papacelle nascono alle pendici del Vesuvio, melanzane a funghetti e poi mettiamo crema di parmigiano e dopo vi diamo il nostro segreto. crema di parmigiano fiò di latte era quella porchetta papacelle napoletane si dico e wow wow I have to say wow because this is the perfect pizza crust you can ever ever get in a pizza place guys take a look take a screenshot of this pizza because this is the perfect crust of the pizza i can tell you that this is the perfection of pizza good fermentation good uh, cook good stretch super professionally made crema di parmigiano e venite come venite come gli mettiamo un parmigiano reggiano 120 mm is even better than before. It's like thousands of tastes mixed all together, but in a perfect way. I can't believe that. 
my favorite pizza in Rome, Vito, trust me, this one is so good. Giovanni, for sure, I will go to this pizza place, 110%. And you, if you're watching, write it down. And uh, when you are in Rome, you have to go here. And guys, if you're watching this video, and you're planning to come to Italy, in Rome, just come here. What do you think of these pizzas? They were all good? <laughs> yes, they were good. Like this or like this? Yes! Okay, guys, uh, what we learned today? We learned a couple of tips. So we learned that the pizza needs to be stretched with the semolina and flour together because all three pizza places they are like this. Second thing is uh, the pizza when it's thin or you want it crunchy, it needs to be cooked at a lower temperature and much more uh, uh, tips on this video. So guys, ready? Oh. Oh. Okay guys, uh, and uh, we are out of here. <laughs> of course, every week, new video. Please tell me in the comment if you like these type of videos. This way I will send Giovanni or I'll go myself to the new city. So be careful, I might come to you. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!